Guy comes and sits right next, literally, props down on me. <laughs> and, you know, at that point, I'm like, yo, like, come on, man. So, <laughs> so I get up. And go to the other side of the park. I get up and walk around and go to the other side of the park. <laughs> That's very friendly. I, I, yeah, yeah you're, No, come on, Max. Though, like, no, come on. No, of like, course. I don't need you. But the reason it's happening to you, too, is because they recognize you. They that's not see true. That's cool. Services. That's that's great that you recognize me. But I don't need you sitting on top of me while I'm trying to get he something He doesn't even to like it when I, if our tables, that he even mentioned it already, we're too close together. If, if the, He's like, yo, why are we so close? And he wants me to be in the other room when we're. But it's not. No, it's not. It's not that, Max. What it is is, I don't feel like engaging in small talk. I don't care about the the Yankees and the Dodgers right now while I'm at the bar. I don't care about if the Rams are going to win or if USC. I don't care if Ohio State or Alabama's great. I could care less about Duke basketball. Don't try small conversation with me. That's slick. Yeah, I you know, care less even about Cur- the yeah, Cur- yeah, I was just breathing hard. Like, ah. There's a there's an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm <sighs> like, no, where they're going to a dinner party and and Larry David tells the guy when he sits down, he's like, Look, if we I can't do this, can we elevate to medium talk? If like if I'm sitting next to someone, at least let me do medium talk, not small talk. Hey, right? how so are you? You don't oh, really God. want to know how oh, I, I am. Had, you don't want to know how I am. It's the I equivalent had, in this uh, business of how much pressure is on someone. I don't know, this much. I don't have the nasty though, I come out of the bathroom. Where you want to try to shake, like, man, what you doing? And don't be going to the bathroom and on your phone at the same time. That's nasty. How about pictures in the bathroom? You no, got that nasty. Pictures in the bathroom, like, want to shake your hand. I'm hey, like, fist bump, wash your hands. Nothing. No fist, no, don't, don't. touch me, don't talk to me. <laughs> you are disgusting. And when you wash your hands, don't do it for five seconds. And then wash your phone. Sanitize your phone, nasty. The dude's there right next to you. Oh, right next to you. Like, hey, see this article? See this article? Splashing all your uh, Valenciaga shoes and carrying all your Jimmy shoes. Oh, come on, man. So just remember, everybody, (laughs) whoever can hear us right now on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, your smart speakers, Sirius XM Radio, the podcast, wherever you're listening to us, Key and Jay don't want to talk to you. That's not true. If you see them, just keep walking. Here we go. They don't like you. That's true. And, oh, and, that, that's, <laughs> and that goes for me, too. No, not for but, me, but, but, but I, them. Yeah, for oh, everything too, Max is yeah. saying is true, but I want you to listen and watch me every time I'm on television or there listen it is. to me on the radio. There but it is. I do not want <laughs> to speak to you. Yes, that is correct. That is going to be the title of Key's next book, as a matter of fact. I that's do not want to speak title. to you. I do not want to speak <laughs> to you. <laughs> Throw, Throw me the, the damn, damn ball. ball. Leave I my ass alone. Throw me the damn ball and then shut up and don't talk to me. All right. Uh, I'm actually very uh, people friendly, Max. <laughs> everybody is. Well, uh, no, so, not everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, should we talk about the, the Big 12? What do you think? What happened in the Big 12? Your guy, Brett, your mark, right? Is it your mark, your Mac? How do you pronounce it? Your mark. Your mark, right? But people b- rush through the R. Your mark. Your, well, because yeah. that's when you don't know how to say something. You just go, oh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Big 12 commissioner, you used, used to be with Rock Nation, right? Jay, was that, this is Jay-Z's guys from, from Rock Nation? Yeah, but he also ran Brooklyn Sports Entertainment, which kind of oversees all the uh, real estate development for sports franchises in New York. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently, the Big 12 didn't used to be open for business, but listen to this. What excites me most about joining the Big 12 is the transformative moment in front of all of us today. We have an opportunity to grow and build the Big 12 brand and business. Be aspirational. Define our point of difference. All while never losing our commitment to always compete and develop our student athletes at the highest levels. Moments like these do not happen often and we must seize them and make the most of them. It will require incredible work and collaboration. One thing is for sure, there is no doubt the Big 12 is open for business. We will leave no stone unturned to drive value for the conference. What a great script that somebody put together for him. I don't know how long that took. But uh, look, here's what I would say. I don't think there's anything wrong with teams joining the Big 12. The Big 12 conference is a good conference. They got good football. I think the, the problem is that they hadn't won anything major in such a long, long time. I think the last time that they probably won something was when Texas beat USC. 
and people look at that and gauge that against the SEC conference or the Big Ten conference. But I think as a whole, if you look at the Big 12 conference and you really pay attention to it, those teams, the Baylors, the Iowa States, uh, and once upon a time, West Virginia, they was running up the score on people. They were doing some stuff in the Big 12 when Oklahoma was there. Texas, not so much. They were a decent football team. They've gone through some coaches. So when you look at the, the top half of the Big 12, they haven't won any championships. So the first thing people start to say is, well, they can't compete with Ohio State and Alabama and some of these other teams. Well, really, as I always said, the SEC conference is strong. They have dominated with Florida winning championships way back when with Urban Meyer or most recent Georgia or even Alabama dominating. But in all honesty, the SEC has hidden behind Alabama for years up until up until LSU won their championship. And then obviously along the way, LSU won another championship. But for the most part, you talk about Alabama until Georgia just recently won one. USC obviously won a bunch of many years ago, then got put on somewhat of a probation. But key but, doesn't like you say, like you said, um, you know, the, the, Georgia sneaks up and wins one, right? There's yeah. LSU sneaks, up. but someone from the Big Twelve got to sneak up and win one too, right? Or, of course, or, or yeah. then of course, it, you the just big, can't compare them. The, the Big Ten didn't sneak up and win one until Ohio State did it. That's right. right? The Big Ten hadn't won one in so quite some time, so. Every conference has the major gorillas, then they have snails in the end. For every Kansas, there's a Vanderbilt, an Oregon State. Uh, you know, for every, for every Iowa State, there is a Mississippi State that has a really good year. For every Baylor, there's an Ole Miss that has a really good year. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Now, what I would say is this conference may be able to compete every six or seven years for a major national championship type contending team, but doesn't mean that it's a bad conference. Oklahoma State's going to win nine games every single year. They've just got to win the big one, and they have yet to do it. Same thing with Baylor. you know. And, and so I would say when you start to look at this conference, it's the third conference right now. It's still better than the ACC to me. And the only reason why the ACC is at the top of the level is because Clemson's been able to dominate. All I know, Key, is watching the Big 12 for our Brett Yermack, uh, I, I would start looking to try to pick off some Pac-12 schools. I would look at Colorado, Utah, Arizona schools. Like, okay, like all these conference realignments are going to 18, 20 schools. We need to catch up in this arms race. Big 12's open for business. Open for business. Brett Yermack said. The road to the rematch is on as Bantamweight champ Juliana Pena and former champ Amanda Nunez go head-to-head -head as coaches on their historic the historic 30th season of The Ultimate Fighter. Stream the series now exclusively on ESPN. Sign up now at ESPNplus.com. Why our expectations may be way too high for one particular quarterback. We'll explain after Key has this from O'Reilly. Have a car problem, but don't know 